Hey guys, it's 3.42 in the morning and uh, I'm watching a movie on Netflix called Killing Them Softly. I just picked out a random movie and eh, it's it's pretty interesting actually. But um, yeah, so while I was watching the movie, um, I was trying to pick a lock. It's a uh, trigger lock, but the trigger lock is double sided. You can see there are two sides on the key. I'm not sure if you call this a tumbler or a uh, a wafer. And sorry if I sound tired. I mean, it's 3.40 in the morning, so yeah. Uh, anyways, yeah, I got this lock pick kit online. And uh, I found something strange about this uh lock and it just doesn't seem secure at all this is the lock that came with my gun as you can see when the key turns you can see this is lock this is unlock and I put this in with lock pull it out it's not gonna come out there you go twist it like that comes out so yeah it's locked now I'm just gonna attempt to open this. So all I do is grab the tension wrench, jam it down in there, and there are pins down there. So I just sh sort of push them, put some uh, tension on the uh, pins. I put pressure on it. My favorite pick is the city rake, and the reason why they call it this is because the rake looks like a city. You can see. It looks like buildings. All I do is just jam it in there. Uh, there we go. It's kind of hard to work with because the uh, keyhole is very small. So I just jam it in. Just sort of. Hold on, now let me try to get a better angle at this. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, it's very hard to work with because the keyhole isn't very big. Alright, let's try this one more time. It's hard to hold this lock too, it's kind of awkward. Just jam the pick in there. While putting tension on the tension wrench. There we go. Just rake it. Put some tension on the wrench turn. There we go. And after a little bit, boom, it opens. And then you just twist this back. It's locked again. Now I'm going to show you an example again so you can see it's locked. All I'm going to do is put some tension down here, rake it a little bit, boom, you hear that click. It's unlocked. So picking a trigger lock, uh, it's pretty simple, even if it's the uh, double-sided one, but this is a simple design. Um, if you were to get a trigger lock, I suggest you get a really uh, strong trigger lock. And people have been saying trigger locks, you can just pry it open with some screwdrivers, drill it, you know, whatsoever. But um, with me, I think in my opinion with safety um, the reason why there are locks on a house and locks on guns and stuff is to basically delay something uh, if something bad's gonna happen so the reason why you have a house lock isn't to necessarily keep them out it's to um, basically delay the um, people that are trying to break into your house and when you delay 
the people. It buys you time, and time is survival. You know, so that's why I think um, locks. That that's what I think the purpose of locks is, is to just buy people time. Not a lot of criminals know how to pick locks, so I don't necessarily think you'd have to worry. Well, I'm gonna try to open this one last time. Hmm. Whoops, hit the camera there. Eh, man, it's not working this time. It's kind of awkward working around the camera. Yeah, Dang it. I don't think my pick's jammed in there. Whoops. Yeah, a very small keyhole. Can't really, can't really work with it. Yeah, I don't know. The City Rake is my favorite um, lock pick. So, yeah. Oh, god damn. Can't even. Maybe if I hold it like this, it'd be better. Ah. Come on. I'm sort of like bitch picking now. It's not good to do that. You can damage your pins mm, this is gonna be a long video oh well I guess I'll just cut it here because apparently I can't get this lock opened and I just did a while ago so you know oh there you go what what do you know uh, I just unlocked it again you can see that's unlocked boom locked wow <laughs> Yeah, it worked, um, you know, so, I don't know. Locks are just designed to buy you time, that's all it is. So, yeah, with simple tools you buy online, you can basically pick, you know, any lock. And if you want to get into the hobby of lock picking, then, you know, go for it. You know, why not? I feel that people who... Uh, like to solve puzzles and you know stuff like that um, they might like lock picks too you know if you like uh, playing with the Rubik's Cube if you like um, Professor Layton on the DS that's what my sister plays all the time um, you know puzzle games you know this is like a puzzle basically if you watch the TV show Prison Break you know, and you want to be like Michael Schofield. I, I don't know, man. Just like <laughs> picking locks, you know. It's a pretty fun hobby. But the only downside to picking locks is that most people think that um, it's associated with criminals because, you know, TV and stuff. But I have yet to meet a criminal who knows how to pick locks. Like, the only criminals I've seen are the ones who basically break your window, try to kick your door, and steal your stuff, and then just leave. You know, like, <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure there are criminals out there that know how to use lockpicks, but, you know, uh, most don't, because usually, um, they just don't want to learn it. They just want quick money, quick cash, that's all, you know, yeah. Uh, um, thank you for watching, and sorry for mumbling and all that stuff again. Very tired. <laughs> so, yeah, alright, have a, have a great night.